Good evening, I'm Nicole Griffin. COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations continue to rise here in central Indiana. Studies show one group of Hoosiers are at a higher risk for more severe illness. Our Nikki Dementri speaks with an IU infectious disease expert on why everyone needs to do their part. Nearly 3% of American adults are immunocompromised, according to the CDC. And one local expert here in Indianapolis is hoping that Hoosiers get vaccinated and continue good health practices in order to keep their neighbors safe. Simply put, immunosuppressed conditions are those weakening immune systems. And when it comes to vaccines, Dr. Cole Beeler with IU Health says it's important for those immunocompromised Hoosiers to speak with their doctor. But he recommends they do get the vaccine. The CDC says those living with conditions like COPD, diabetes, and cancer are at an increased risk for severe illness when it comes to COVID-19. As for those taking immunosuppressant medications, say for lupus, psoriasis, or anything of that nature, Dr. Beeler says it's important to have conversations with your doctor on finding a specific time to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Nothing's going to be perfect. And e even with that timing, I suspect that people who have immunosuppressing conditions are probably at risk for not developing as profound an immune response, which is why it's extremely important for those uh, patients not only to get vaccinated, but also to make sure that they've got an extra layer of protection after vaccination. The vaccine does not take you back to normal. If you're one of those patients, you need to make sure that you're doing everything you can to try and to continue to avoid the, the virus that's in high circulation right now. In a late July CDC advisory group meeting, data was discussed behind considerations for a booster dose of the COVID-19 vaccine for those living with an immunocompromising disease. Some 44% of U.S. breakthrough cases are thought to be with immunocompromised people. The advisory group also noted studies show a reduced response in this group of people to the vaccine. The thing that really hurts for me is seeing a patient who tried to get vaccinated, uh, they had immunosuppressed condition, and they're around someone, unfortunately, that transmitted it to them silently, and then they have a bad outcome from it by, by no intention of their own. So yes, immunosuppressed patients can take that extra measure of precautions, but at a certain point in time, we need the community to really surround these people and try and take care of them. Dr. Beeler also wants to remind those that are living with an immunocompromising disease to continue those good health measures, even if they're vaccinated. That means social distancing, hand washing, and wearing a mask. In Indianapolis, Nikki Dementry, WRTV. And this week, Dr. Anthony Fauci says it is a priority to get a third booster shot sooner rather than later for Americans with a weakened immune system.